was good. It was good. I think, you know, the expectations were high coming in considering the last time we were in this building, uh, or I was in this building, we happened to win by 30, and we all happened to be playing very well. But, you know, it was a fun workout. It was a great experience. What do you feel like you have to prove? I think just that, uh, you know, uh, there's more in my game than being, a, you know, a jump shooter. I think, you know, at Notre Dame, we were able to, you know, be very efficient because we had guys do what they did best and we had enough pieces where no one had to, you know, go out of their comfort zone, so to speak. So to so come into these workouts and show that, you know, I can use the pick and roll, can do some things that translate more uh, to the NBA game besides, you know, shoot the corner three uh, is something that, uh, you know, th I think I've been able to do over the past few weeks and, and I look to continue to do over the next few weeks. What Would you say you're the most? Uh, you look at what you worked at for in terms of what's the schedule for that? Uh, so far, I've just done uh, San Antonio here, the combine, uh, a workout uh, with my agency out in LA, where there were like 28 teams there, um, and then I got 10 to 12 more coming up in the uh, coming weeks. How much is baseball still in the picture in terms of your decision making down the road? Uh, well, you know, for me, I'm all basketball until I don't make an NBA roster. I don't think I'll. You know, go overseas to pursue it when I could play baseball here. But you know, uh, until I don't make an NBA roster, that's you know where I stand. It's uh, you know just a matter of getting you know the NBA executives to to believe me, shall we say? So basketball is your preferred sport, your favorite sport? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. I think you know for me, I love them both. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I've been playing both of them since I was a kid. But you know, when I look at it, when I look at it from you know a perspective with my life, I'd be kicking myself if I just went straight to baseball because you know it was the you know quote unquote easier path. You know. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that uh, since I've been preaching about the two sports since you know I can remember, I want to make sure I don't sell one short before I see what's there. So mm -hmm. you know, I'll give it 110 percent. Um, you know, even though that might not be possible because you're going to 100 percent, but I'll give it 100 percent until basketball runs out, and then I'll uh, you know uh, make a decision after that. You think you could make it as Major League Baseball player? Could you make it to the majors? Yeah, How confident absolutely. Are you? I'm pretty confident I could you know uh, contribute uh, at both levels. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a matter of you know taking it day by day, giving your best every day and, and trying to you know show everybody else how does the athleticism that everyone talks about translate into what they're asking you to do in these workouts i mean are you, are you trying to prove what they know you do or show things that they think you can't uh, it's a mixture of both you know you want to make sure that the things you do well you continue to do well uh, you know i think i could have done a, a better job shooting but i think uh, or today at least, but I think, uh, you know, uh, some of the athletic things that people didn't know I have, now they're able to see it, uh, you know, when these workouts are smaller, when, you know, it's, uh, you know, me, uh, they put everybody in the same position. So uh, it's easy uh, er, to show that, uh, you know, I can jump, uh, do some of the same athletic things that, you know, people, uh, some of the best amongst college basketball can do. Oh, deceptively athletic creeps up again, huh? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we've put that to rest yet, but that being said, uh, it's not a label that uh, I dislike anymore because I've shown that it might be a little bit more than deceptive. <laughs> really proof people wrong. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's something that uh, I've kind of tried to do my entire life. I mean, being a kid that, you know, had no professional sport ties, uh, you know, let alone uh, possible professional sport ties in two different sports, uh, you know, from a small town of Arlington, Mass, back home was something that, you know, it's just, uh, it's cool and neat to, you know, go back there and show people that, you know, you can make it from anywhere. Do you have any connections? Have you reached out to anybody who kind of two sport athletes and kind of had a similar, similar dilemma? That you uh, from time to time, I think, uh, you know, I haven't as much just because I've been in the midst of, you know, trying to work as hard as I can to, to make it. But uh, I think, you know, there are, are times where people offer their advice on both sides of sports, and there are a few guys that, uh, you know, um, you know, made it uh, from here and there that uh, weren't necessarily big name guys, but were guys that uh, did have the two sport thing that uh, I've been able to talk to. Do people um, people make a big deal about your vertical? Do you get tired of that, as if that's your only asset, or do you kind of take pride uh, in that? Or well, I'm not really picky in that sense. I think uh, you know it was more of a matter to show people I had a vertical before uh, you know I can get picky about complaining about everyone talking about my vertical. You know, I think before <laughs> the combine, people were wondering if they could slide you know an envelope under my shoe when I jumped, and now you know they're seeing how high of a box they can slide under my feet. So it's just a matter of uh, you know using it to my advantage and continuing to you know try to get better, not just at the vertical jump, but the quickness, the agility that you need to you know guard guys. Uh, at this level. Is that vertical all natural or is it something you either work specifically on to advance? Uh, it's a mixture of both. I think, you know, uh, the, the way you get better at things is by doing them. So the way I got better at jumping ever since I was, you know, a, a kid was, you know, strap a weight vest to myself and, and jump up and down on ledges, jump up and try to dunk for, you know, until I couldn't jump anymore. Just things that, uh, you know, uh, obviously some of it you're fortunate enough to have the abilities, but, you know, uh, you got to, uh, you know, maximize the abilities you have and try to build them to be to the utmost potential that you can. Do you ever high jump and track? You go out for 
No, I was always a basketball, baseball, baseball. football kind of guy uh, in high school. The uh, the block shot against Butler, that's a play that a lot of people wouldn't necessarily attempt to make because you don't want to foul or whatever. Yeah. What was your mind, what was going through your mind or did anything even go through your mind as that play was unfolding and you leapt into it? Well, as a phenomenal shooter that Dunham is, you know, I, I was afraid that if he got it off, that's, that tournament is made for those types of shots to go in. So, uh, you know, I wasn't going to be the one that, that let the shot get off. And, uh, you know, I was just uh, trusted, you know, I guess uh, you can incorporate both sports there. The hand-eye coordination you need to hit a baseball, well, you need it to block a shot too, you know, and not hit his entire arm. So uh, if you look at it, he actually kind of beat me off the screen, uh, and I, I was just trying to get back as quick as I could and, and make a play for my team to help win the game. Jared was in here uh, last week. Yeah. Uh, even though you guys may be in different cities, different times, how cool is it to go through this process together? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, you know, a guy that uh, I was close with since the day I stepped on Notre Dame's campus, and you know, we made that run this year that we we talked about doing, where you know we both came from uh, you know a different situation last year where he might not have been, in, he wasn't in school, and you know I had base, a baseball path that people thought I was going to pursue. We you know made a pact to come back together and see if we could do some things Notre Dame basketball has never done, and, and it propelled us to this step. And so we're going to you know take. It. Obviously, I wish him the best uh, of luck, and you know we'll remain best friends through and through. The the confidence that you have that you would be a major league baseball player if you so chose. Do you have the same confidence about the NBA, or is that maybe something you want to prove to yourself? Uh, I you got to have confidence in yourself. It's not a confidence that. Uh, you know, I'd uh, speak about openly just because, uh, you know, you don't want to, it's a fine line between, you know, sounding cocky and sounding confident. But, you know, for, for me, I think the most important thing is you have to have confidence that you can make it at the next level or, uh, you know, you're doing yourself a disservice uh, and you're only in halfway. So for me, I have confidence that I can make it. I have confidence that I can play at the next level. Uh, and it's just a matter of coming out and, and working on the things on a daily basis in order to, you know, achieve that uh, dream, I guess.